Welcome back to Olympics Daily. Today I'm joined by the Mayor of Rio, Eduardo Paez, who is the man overseeing the next Olympic Games in 2016. Mr Paez, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Um, uh, how have you been finding the London Games so far? I mean, we, we got a bunch of people here uh, watching the Games. I mean, we've been following London since 2009 when we started bidding for, for the Olympics. So, um, I mean, we know very well what's going on here. And the past few weeks, I mean, we've been following every step. And it's great. I mean, you, you guys are delivering a great games and it's, it's, it's good to see what's happening here. And, and we're taking good lessons from London. Excellent. And one, one of the concerns that before the game started in London was how the city's uh, infrastructure and in particular its transport infrastructure was going to cope. Now, Rio is a growing city. It's the center of a rapidly expanding economy. And with all the concerns that go with that, you're also going to be welcoming hundreds of thousands of visitors in 2016. How are you managing or hoping to manage to cope with that influx? Yeah, obviously, we're going to have a harder time than London. Uh, because uh, in London you already had the infrastructure. I mean, obvi obviously you did some improvement, but the, the subways was already here. Uh, in Rio, we are uh, building lots of the, the, the BRT lines and the subway. Uh, for you to have an idea, we're moving from 18% of the people in the city move, uh, tra being transported by high capacity transportation to 63%. So we need to deliver that and then learn how to operate. And this is, this is something that we're learning a lot with the experience of London because you, you're doing great with transportation these days. Uh, Rio's reputation has obviously vastly improved in recent years, but visitors are still a bit concerned about street crime and violence. How are you hoping to guarantee their safety? Uh, I mean, Rio has, has been hosting many big events uh, in the last 20, 30 years, even when the when violence was worse than it is now. So things are improving and this, I, I'm sure this is not going to be uh, a problem uh, for the Olympics. And this is something that's improving and this is the best part of it for our everyday life. I mean, it's improving before the Olympics, uh, during the Olympics and after the Olympics. I mean, we want to live uh, with more peace in Rio and that's why we're improving so much. And how are the people of Rio feeling about the upcoming games? I mean, it's, it, it's, I, f I think it's something people are already very excited about the games. They're watching all the construction that are happening in the city. But from this Sunday on, then we're going to be really the Olympic city. So it's time to you know, get people involved. And, but we are pretty excited. It's great for us to have Olympic games there. Now, uh, normally in, the, uh, in this video, we ask for a tip of the day. But on this occasion, I'm going to ask you for a tip on who might be lighting the Olympic flame in 2016. Well, I, I would not say a name here, but I would say, you know, uh, uh, I, would, I would like to have a poor kid from a favela in Rio, Islam in Rio, uh, showing that uh, the Olympics uh, made the city uh, reborn, renew the city of Rio. Mr. Perez, thank you very much for talking to us. Good luck with all the preparations. And we'll be back tomorrow for our last Olympics daily when Roger Blitz will be giving his final thoughts on the London Games.